Good morning and welcome to our English class. My name is Joan A. Lopez, your teacher in English. For today's lesson, you are expected to use the plural form of regular nouns. Example, dog, dog. Plate, plates. Trash, trashes. Before we're going to proceed with our new lesson, let us sing our Monday song. Okay, let us sing. Monday, today is Monday. Monday, Monday, what a happy day. Monday, today is Monday. Monday, Monday now. So what day is today? Very good. Today is Monday. Before going to have our new lesson, let us have first a review with what we have learned yesterday. So, yesterday, yesterday we talked about the differences or what are the differences between the common noun and the proper noun. Remember that the common noun is for the general name and always starts with a capital letter. Proper noun is for the specific name, usually starts with the capital letter. So let us check first if you really get what we have learned yesterday. Now you are going to identify the, the nouns here that I have given. So you're going to identify this one if it is a common noun or a proper noun. For number one, HN Kahilsot Central Elementary School. Number two, car. For number three, mongol. Four, dog. Five, fish. Let us check your answer. For number one, each in Kahilsot Central is a proper noun. For number two, it is a common noun, car. Mongol, number three, is a proper noun. Four, dog. Very good. It is a common noun. Number five, fish. Very good. It is a common noun. Okay, very good. Who got the correct answer? Now I know that you know what is the difference between the common noun and the proper noun. Now we are going to read a paragraph. I am going to read it for you and please do listen. Chito wanted to surprise his friends. He visited the school library. He got two small books. One book was about a mouse in a church. He read it aloud to his friends. They said Chito was a good storyteller and a good friend too. After reading, Chito and his friends went to church. Went to a church. Now, who is the main character in our short paragraph? Very good. It is Chito. What did Chito do to surprise your friends? Very good. Chito read a story to his friends. Look at this picture and tell me what are the pictures all about. Okay. The other side of the pictures are for the object which is only one which is the umbrella box and apple on the other side of the pictures we have many umbrellas we have also boxes and we also have the apples for today's lesson we are going to have the plural form of the regular nouns but before we are going to proceed let us first identify what is singular singular nouns refers to one person place things animals or event for example apple teacher car plural noun refers to two or more person things place animals ideas or events for example dogs cars Pupils. Example of forming plural form of noun. Flower, flowers. House, houses. 
beach, beaches. Jar, jars. Let us also remember that the nouns in our alphabet are the A, E, I, O, U, and the rest of the alphabet are the consonant letters. In forming the plural form of regular nouns, we, are, we have some rules to remember. The first one is, for most regular nouns, we form their plural by simply adding S to the end of the base to form the plural form of noun. For example of this are, chair, chairs. Doctor, doctors. Pillow, pillows. Spoon, spoons. Rule number two. If the singular nouns ends in S, SS, SH, CH, X, or Z, simply add ES to form its plural noun. For example, bus, buses. Box, boxes. Branch, branches. Dress, dresses, brush, brushes, stitch, stitch. Rule number three. Nouns ending in O, if the letter preceding letter O is a consonant letter, add ES to have the plural form of noun. For example, buffalo, buffalos, volcano, volcanoes, mosquito, mosquitoes. Potato, potatoes. We have also to remember that the expo, the piano, the bolo, since it's ending with the O, are the words which has an exemption to the rule. The plural of these words is formed by just adding S as pianos, bolos, and expos. Rule number four. A noun ending with F, E, or F form their plural by changing S. F, E, or F to V and add ES. Examples, knife, knives, elf, elves. Some nouns ending in two vowels, F, E, or F, form their plural noun by adding S. For example, roof, roofs, chief, chiefs. Note, leaf, leaves, and the teeth. Thieves are exemption to the rule. Rule number five. Some word ending in FF form their plural nouns by adding S. For example, cliff, cliffs, calf, calves. Some words ending in F or FE like dwarf and dwarf can have two plural form. Example, dwarfs, dwarfs, scarves, scarves. Rule number seven, nouns ending in Y, if letter preceding letter Y is a consonant letter, change Y to I and add ES to get the plural form of noun. Example, army, armies, lily, lilies, baby, baby. Nouns ending with Y, if the letter preceding letter Y is a vowel letter, add S. Examples, Valley, valleys. Toy, toys. Boy, boys. Is everything clear so far, class? Now, let us try this exercise. Add S or S to form the plural noun. Example, climber, climbers. Now, it's your turn. Give me the plural form of the word beach, coast, branch, culture, how to make the plural form of regular nouns? What are the rules to remember when forming plural form of regular nouns? For most regular nouns, we form their plural by simply adding S to the end of the base to form the plural noun. If the singular noun ends in S, SS, SH, CH, X, Z, and Z, add ES to, end, to the end to make it plural. Regular nouns ending in O, if the letter preceding letter O is a consonant letter, add ES to have the plural form. Rule number four, nouns ending with FE or F form their plural by changing FE or F to V and add ES. Another rule, some word ending in FF form their plural nouns by adding S. 
Another rule also is some some words ending in F or F, E like dwarf and dwarf, can have plural form nouns ending with Y. If letter preceding letter Y is a consonant letter, change Y to I and add ES to form its plural. Nouns ending Y, if the letter preceding letter Y is a vowel letter, add ES. Now, we will try these exercises to know if you really understand what we have discussed a while ago. Complete the sentence. Give the plural form of the following noun inside the parenthesis to complete the sentence. You done? Ball pens up. We will check your answer. For number one, we put ink in our pen. The plural form of pen is pens. Who got the correct answer? Very good. For number two, all the church are full during Sunday. What is the plural form of church? Churches. Very good. Number three, my mother has many bags. What is the plural form of bag? Very good. Bags. For number four, the boy blank play basketball. What is the plural form of boy? You got it right. Boys. For the last number, Roy wash the dish after eating. What is the correct answer? Dishes. Good job, everyone. Now I know that you really understood what is being discussed today. Now for your assignment, rewrite each sentence, change the italicized noun to its plural form. They found a toothbrush in a bathroom. That is for number one. Number two. I played with my friend at recess time. Number three, Joan feed her chick every morning. Number four, my mother read a book to me before sleeping. Number five, I use an axe. I use an axe to cut woods. Thank you again, class, for joining today's discussion. I hope you have learnings today. Always be safe and stay healthy. See you tomorrow.